Well, hello, everybody, and today we're going to talk about the absolutely fantastic game, Splendor. First of all, I'm Tim. I'm Wayne. And I, I think Splendor is absolutely fantastic. However, I have to admit, uh, I have the slightly unpopular opinion of believing that Splendor is not as fantastic as you believe. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to get into that, and I'm going to show up to everybody how they're wrong, and folks can just go ahead and listen to me. So first Good of all... Good luck with that. Luck with that. <laughs> so first of all, Splendor is a very... Um, the, the term gets floated around a lot in the board gaming uh, community, I think, of elegant. It's simplicity. It's straightforwardness. It's cleanliness. I think Splendor, at its bare bones, is just a nice, clean elegant, straightforward, simple game that is easily accessible to a casual gamer. And I think sometimes it scratches just enough itch for a serious gamer as well. Okay, well, I do admit, I do agree with one point you said, that it's very simplistic and easy to get into just in the same way as tic-tac-toe, and rock, paper, scissors. Oh, wow. Are easy to understand. <laughs> All right. Yes. People to get into. Okay. Okay. Now, listen, that, that's going a little bit too far. Okay. So, first of all, what, what's good about it? Because I teach this a lot at Meepleville. Okay. Yes. Now, as far as the simplicity, there are only three things you can do on your turn. So, when you're trying to teach people new games, get them into the gamer world, that like three things is sort of a nice box to keep them in so that way they don't become overloaded or overwhelmed by the game, don't you think? Yes, I do think limited choices are definitely a good thing, especially when introducing a game to, to newer gamers. But don't you think some of the older classics do that much better? Carcassonne, Catan, Ticket to Ride, simple, easy choices, easy to get into. But there's like a like an actual game there. <laughs> so you so you don't even think this is a, no no. But hold on a second. You don't even think this is a game. No, I mean it's it's a game. I'll give you that. It's it's like it's like Candyland Splendor. Wow. You know? like, <laughs> no, it's there. <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, let's talk about the core mechanic, okay? Because a lot of the games you mentioned, Ticket to Ride, Catan, all that kind of stuff. I don't think that maybe a casual game or somebody who's never played Splendor before, maybe never played Catan, Ticket to Ride, or maybe they have, hasn't ever played an engine builder. And I think that concept within Splendor really invigorates them, right? Because I think relatively soon playing the game, they can see, oh, yeah, I need to get this little piece. I need to get this little piece. Boom, 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 and it ramps up, and it builds the engine. It gets them going. So I think it does a great job of doing that. That, that part I will legitimately give you. That is a really awesome feeling in games where you start with nothing, and you make decisions to build up your tableau, your city, or whatever it is in whatever game you're playing, and now you're taking much bigger turns. You feel much more powerful. I'll, I'll give you that one. It does do that part well. Okay, but then what is it specifically that you seem to really despise this game? What, what what's you you give me something? Well, it uh, I do I do I know I kind of referenced it earlier. I do think that simplicity is a little too on the simple side. Here, here, case in point, case in point. You said that you teach this game to many people that come into Meepleville. Yep. How many times have you whipped out Splendor with your gamer buddies? And had just a rip roar in time. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. I, I plead the guess. fifth. No, I plead the my eyes and you hold it up, and I'm gonna hold up what I think. Uh because that's what yeah. I think. I don't think okay. you've ever done that with your friends. Yeah, but 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 listen, just because it's not a game that I personally would pull off the shelf at my game night does not disqualify it from being a good, great, or a great, even great game. No, I would agree with that. Yes, just because an individual would not enjoy it does not mean that the game is not a good or great game. Game, right. I do agree with that. Um, I'm not convinced that this is one of them, though. There's just not what, like what you have the engine building. Yep. And then, and then what? And then you play it again, and you're like, oh yeah, I remember when I did this last time, and it. Oh, but now I need. 
I would need to go for the guy that wants the red gems instead of the green ones. Okay, you, you know what? Okay, listen, I, I, I get it. I, I admit there may not be a whole big, like it, it's definitely it's definitely non-thematic, right? It could be anything. So whatever, no. whatever the theme is. I might like it better if it was a different theme. Donuts. <laughs> I could probably do donuts. I would enjoy right. that. Right. Yeah. I, I get that. So I get it. There's really nothing there as far as the theme goes. But again, I think um, maybe the big difference between you and I is I have seen, since I've taught it to so many people, I have seen the sort of joy that it brings to people. And these casual gamers or whatever people come into Meepleville and they teach, I can see like the clicking, like, oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Oh, now I'm developing strategy. Oh, this or that. And I can see the build because once I do, people will teach them. Sometimes people will sit there three, four, five games in a row. And yeah, what a waste of their time. time. <laughs> you know, another point, another point that people like to bring up, Tim, is they uh, love to talk about those components. You, you're, are you, do you dig the components? Oh, absolutely. I mean, well, I mean, the cards are, are basic cards. I, I think they're good. They do get worn out after a while because after hundreds and hundreds oh, of sure. players. But those chips are very nice. The the box that it comes in with the containers, you know, the little chip slots and the card. It is slots. a good insert. It a insert. That's what it's very called. Very few yeah. games have a. You know what? Now that I think about it, Tim, that's by far the best quality of that game. Is that insert? <laughs> okay, but you know what? You still haven't given me anything solid. I don't think, or maybe I'm just missing it. Of well, why well, this is not worth somebody's time. Okay. Okay. Here, no, no, that's that's not that's true. I, I I wouldn't go as far as to say it's not worth somebody's time. Okay. That's. I don't want to go that far. I just do think that um, there might be other games that do those things in a more fulfilling way. But I haven't taught it to as many people as you have, so I could be off base there. Because I certainly, when I played it, I was like, all right, you know, I guess I'll buy these cheap ones until I can afford to buy these medium -y ones and then maybe I can buy these big <laughs> ones before before you buy them and people uh, do love those components man people talk about those chips all the time and I gotta tell you they're nice. just because the components weigh the same thing as a newborn baby <laughs> does not necessarily mean they're high quality components it's uh, just a heavy poker chip guys it's not a big it deal it is but but again, I mean, yes. So obviously, you don't like the game. Personally. Oh no! Okay. I, did I give that impression? I apologize. No. <laughs> okay, but now come on. Now seriously, regardless of your own personal feelings, if you can try to put those aside for a second, I can do that. would you still say that it is a good, solid game? How much time do we have on this recording for me to think about this? Not enough. I need an answer. It's a fine game. It's just fine. fine. That's all fine. I get out of you. Just I think I, I think I traded it at a flea market at Meepleville mm -hmm. for an ice cream sandwich. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Somebody okay. went to your counter and bought me an ice cream sandwich, and I gave them Splendor. Wow. Okay. I, I get it. Dirty. I get it. You don't like the game. Okay. I mean, there's there's nothing I guess I can say or tell you or do to convince you. I mean, if anybody's watching this, I hope they are. I would highly recommend uh, playing Splendor. And again, you got me there. You're right. I'm not going to take it off the shelf at my game group because there's like dozens of other games I would rather play instead. However, for what it is, I think it is a fantastic game. All right. Check it out. Watch a video on it. Maybe watch some other people playing it. Maybe. Maybe it's your thing. <laughs> Probably not. But maybe it's your thing, and you can bring it to Thanksgiving. There you go. Okay, folks. Well, you know what? Do us a favor. Leave a comment down below and let us know whether you think I'm correct or what way that knucklehead over there is correct <laughs> about the game splendor there's right. no way that you're going to be outvoted on this one they're going to yeah. side with me here we'll see leave that comment below thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one